Hello my friend, uh, this is uh, my project and uh, if you want to prepare a report regarding to delay, um, absolutely project delay, uh, you have uh, many ways to calculate your project delay. Uh, one of the easiest way is to use uh, filtration in PCX and uh, this uh, filtration is uh, indirect it is not direct filtration in PCX uh, in this lesson I would like to discuss about how to uh, prepare delay report with P6 in combination of uh, a global change and P6 filter. I prepare three user defined fields uh, and name them delay actual start, delay baseline start, and delay result. I named uh, all of them by delay because uh, it's easiest for sort and change the data type to the number. This is a very easy filter and very easy global change. It's uh, only uh, have three steps. The step one is the delay calculation step one as you see. In this step, we change our date to the user-defined field and change the date to the number. Uh, as you see, delay actual start equal to actual start. Uh, this step the change the date of actual of our activity to the number change the date to the number for both actual and baseline if you want to make a comparison with uh, catch up or another uh, project you can uh, choose the different field in this section okay and I made a change Okay, these are zero zero. Waiting for physics calculation. I waiting for the lock. After this step, uh, we okay calculation finish. This is our result and I commit the changes. Okay. You should maybe you should store the log if you need. And a step two. Let me to show you the changes. Our delay baseline and actual change to number from date okay I am going for step number two modify and delay result why I uh, name uh, three field uh, at the first by delay because you can see it it's uh, easier for find uh, this uh, field uh, to p6 delay result equal to delay baseline start minus to delay actual start so okay apply the change
I'm waiting for the lock. As you see, our actual percent complete. Oh, you cannot see. Actual percent complete and a schedule percent complete. Okay, this is our delay result. Commit the change. I know. Okay. As you see, our actual percent complete is 11.08 and our scheduled percent complete is 38.01. So, uh, I should, how I can report it? By filter. Because I change actual start and baseline start to the digit and uh, to the number and uh, make a, and I make delay result by uh, minus actual start from baseline start so if I use this filter what is this filter if a start of activity is less than current date and finish of activity is greater than current date why we mentioned both of them because some of our activity is finished and uh, done so i don't want to present it at this filter and what is the delay result is less than one okay less than one means um, our minimum delay is not considered it's up to you and you can find this activity have a delay 45.71% in comparison one for 100 this activity this activity this is the one of the easiest way for delay comparison preparation report and you can make a export file from this okay thank you for your time and consideration please let me have your uh, comment in LinkedIn and please subscribe on my YouTube thank you